My name is Kim Ellery and I am an expressionist painter and I love what I do. I devoted my life to art probably in the seventh grade. Um, I was asked by my art teacher to um, create the grand prize for a parents night. So I did like a pastel painting of the song Stairway to Heaven and it was then that I said I want to do this for my life. I have to do this for my life. When I was younger, I did some um, three-dimensional work, uh, clay work, carving in stone. Um, and then as the years went on, I started painting and um, just fell in love once I found uh, the acrylic medium. that when you look at one of my paintings it's what's going on in my brain it's just kind of you know this fun crazy chaos generally what I do is I'll start off with like nine canvases and just do like nine underpaintings I just kind of like to make a mess uh, throw all kinds of colors and textures and feelings on and then kind of step back and look at it and try to find shapes you know like when you're a little kid you're looking up at the clouds and you're trying to find like an elephant or oh, you know, look, there, there's a heart. It kind of like starts to tell me what it wants to be. I could be throwing the color. Uh, I could take a little tinny pen and just make little marks. It's, it's insignificant um, until you start carving out little areas and then you build from there. But, so then it's a matter of a negative and positive way of painting back and forth, back and forth, layers and layers. I like it when I'm painting and like a big huge drop of paint might fall smack dab in the middle of an area that I was really loving. I like that. And the reason why is because it's like it's an opportunity to open my mind and to push it further and it's like what what is this drip going to be there for now? Nine times out of ten almost always makes it better. Everything for me is art, you know, like the fork that you eat with, the street that you walk down. Somebody had to design that. Everywhere you look is art. Every, you know, there's nothing that you don't look at that's not have, having been created by man or God. And so I look at everything very creatively. My daughter Meg came home from vacation and she had given me a piece of coral. And it was so, the textures and the shapes and this teeny little piece of coral were so mesmerizing. It's like, I just started sketching it out and realized, I think at that point, I wanted to combine my two worlds. What would that look like, having birds flying around at the same time that fish are swimming around? I, I realized that, you know, you have one opportunity to have a voice, you know. I want to convey only positive emotions. I feel like there's enough pain in this world and so what I wanted to say was spread the love, which is, you know, my, my uh, signature always has a heart with these three little lines. I want people to walk away feeling good, feeling joy, feeling happy, um, feeling hugged, you know, um, feeling like they were loved on. I'm obsessed with art. I mean, like I dream about painting. I can't live without painting and yet because I paint I'm able to you know then give joy to other people. I think sometimes I look at my life and I, I can't believe the things I've accomplished by just being me.